Today in London, a Muslim preacher known for his fiery anti-Western sermons went on trial. Anjem Chowdhury is charged with recruiting for ISIS. Elizabeth Palmer has this. On his way into court, Britain's best-known radical Islamist claimed it was all a setup. The only reason I'm standing here today is because I'm a Muslim. Chowdhury once praised the 9-11 hijackers and for years has denounced Western rights and freedoms. Down, down, democracy! Down, down, democracy! After the rise of ISIS in 2014, Chowdhury sounded like a salesman for life under ISIS rule. Everybody has free food, clothing and shelter. Close your eyes and imagine a society. You haven't got a house? Here's your house. If you don't have uh, electricity, here's free electricity. Eventually, Chowdhury's lectures in person and online got him arrested. On the eve of his trial, he sat down with us to insist he never directly recruited for ISIS. There's no record of me ever saying to go abroad and to live in the Islamic State. I but believe did you in fact, have to? No, I Just believe by in saying fact, this, is a, this is a Muslim state and, you know, and it, it, it is a, a place run under mm -hmm. Sharia law mm -hmm. is an implicit endorsement. No, it isn't, in fact. But the British government disagrees. It believes Chowdhury's campaigning contributed to the stream of hundreds of Britons who went to Syria to fight. One of them was Siddhartha Dar, formerly Chowdhury's close associate. He went to Syria in 2014 and is now widely believed to be the man behind the mask in ISIS's latest execution video. All people of Britain know that today your citizenship is under our feet. Anjum Chowdhury faces 10 years in jail if he's convicted, but the broader question, Scott, is whether this British crackdown on recruiting is going to slow the flow of foreign fighters that ISIS depends on. Liz Palmer in the London newsroom tonight. Liz, thanks.